Good morning, scientist. Happy coronation. It is day one. While my own kiddos are busy watching some Frozen 2 right now, thank goodness for Disney Plus, um, I'm going to go over one of our activities with you and walk you through the virtual lab so that when you're ready to do it, you have the instructions that you need. First of all, if you haven't watched the mitosis video yet and taken those notes, please do that first. Otherwise, this lab is going to make very little sense to you. All right, so now that you've watched your notes, you've learned that mitosis is cell division. So cell division is when cells make more cells. Organisms grow because they make more cells, not because their cells get larger. So more cells mean more growth. So we're going to look at an onion root tip to study cell growth. Why would we look at an onion root tip? First of all, here's the magnified image you see in front of you on the website that I gave you. But what does that look like when it's not under a microscope? Nope, oh, there it is. Those are onion root tips. So that is what the onions look like when you pull them out from the ground. There's lots of growth happening under the ground and it happens quickly. So this is what we are looking at under the microscope, the tip of one of these onion roots, okay? All right, now that we got that out of the way, for those introductory questions, over here to the left side of the screen where it says introduction to the lab, that is exactly where you are going to go ahead and write down and put the information and answer the questions about what is it that we're looking at, and I already helped give you some of those answers. When you're ready to start, you're going to scroll down to where it says begin assignment. Where it says begin assignment, it explains a few more directions onto the left-hand side, some questions that you're going to want to answer as we are going through the activities. And then click, click to begin. Once you click, click to begin, now you have to click on root tip in order to actually do the activity. Click on the image and down at the bottom, it says click on a cell to begin. Now, not every cell is going to be able to be clicked on per se. So when I'm scrolling through, and I can use the scroll bars over to the right hand side to scroll through the image that is on the screen, as I move my cursor along, all of a sudden you will see the arrow start to turn into a finger, like the finger is pointing at something. So anytime you change from an arrow, to a finger, that means that is a particular cell that is going to be looked at. So scrolling along, I can see some different cells where it changes from the arrow to the finger. When you click on a cell that has the finger pointed, then it's going to ask you to identify the stage. So when you identify the stage, you look at the bottom and it says which of those stages is this particular cell in that you clicked on. And you can see it should be faintly outlined by a blue box. Not sure what phase it is? Refer to your IP mat sheet. Yes, IP mat. So it's the way to remember the stages of mitosis. You won't have to memorize these stages for me, but when you get to that high school bio class for the EOC, you will have to know those stages. So let's get a great little preview now. So these different stages of mitosis, which are the stages from which a cell divides, are all listed here. Going back and looking at our first cell sample that I clicked on, I can see that I don't have a nucleus anymore and all of the chromosomes from the inside have come out because the cell's going to split into half. But which stage is that where they're all lined up in the middle? Let's use those clues to answer. So scrolling through our reference sheet, interphase, prophase, Hey, look at that keyword right here, middle, middle for metaphase. They're all lined up in the middle. When I go back and look, there they are. They're lined up in the middle. I'm pretty sure that that must be metaphase. If I click on it, it'll let me know if it's right or if it's wrong. If you pick the wrong answer, just click on the right answer. So you'll either need to write that down or you're going to need to draw that on your paper, depending on which version of the lab that you have. Awesome. All right. Hopefully that helps explain the lab. So you're going to go around, you're going to click on all those different cells and then identify their stages and either sketch that or write that down depending on um, what is on your lab sheet. All right. If you have any more questions or concerns, please email me, get a hold of me on Google Classroom. I will be checking my email and that's all I have for now. So bye Felicia. Have a good rest of your day. Happy coronation. Be safe. Be well.